Welcome to this tutorial on Mixvibes Cross 2. In the first part of this tutorial, we will show you how to modulate the interface of the software. Cross 2 offers different layouts to match different needs. When it opens for the first time, the display will resemble something like this. This view features the mixer with two channels, the collection below, and equalizers. Generally, this resembles roughly a simpler version that was displayed in Cross 1.7. The noticeable differences of Cross 2 are the default adding of a bipolar filter on each channel below the equalizers, the moving and improving of the FX zone above, and the presence of a modifiable snapping and quantizing section. In the view menu, you can check and uncheck the panel view that you want in order to add or remove panels. When you select the sampler panel, the mixer will extend into four channels, each of these having a full three band EQ, a gain, and a filter. You can also access the collection view on this panel. It's useful for media management, editing, and searching. Below the pitch fader sections are two locator panel activators. Cross 2 offers eight locators per channel. These locators are more evolved than simple hot cues and can also be loop locators, meaning that you can save a predefined loop length on these locations. When triggered, the track jumps to a predefined location and the loop is activated. This loop will remain active until you unloop it. This action is also a quantized action. This means that whenever you trigger a locator, this action will have no rhythmical error. Locators can also be renamed. This is convenient to memorize, for example, the position of an intro, a chorus, or a break. When creating loops or locators in Cross 2, you will have the possibility to snap this action. The precision of this snapping can be modified. Snapping can be useful in the creation of locators, loops, on the fly. As mentioned before, the quantizing feature essentially eliminates rhythmical errors from your actions. You switch this feature on and off by clicking on it. Let's set the quantize on 4 beats. You hear that the beat stays square. can be extremely helpful in elaborating more technically advanced mixes that include samples, vocals, drum kits, or locators, for example. Cross 2 offers two FX units that are positioned on the panel below the beat matcher. The effects units feature 14 effects and generators, which are viewed in a list when you click on it. Another important feature of Cross 2 is the possibility to combine and bypass effects. The effects attribution is simply done by clicking on the current effects location box. If you go to the preferences menu, you'll be able to check and uncheck the option use bi-dimensional. This option gives you access to a single FX amount knob rather than the default bi-dimensional view. The single knob can, for example, be more adapted for certain MIDI controllers. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.